Hello boys and girls. This month is Hispanic Heritage Month and in recognition of that in this series of videos we're going to be taking a look at the lives of several special Hispanic Americans and learn more about the sacrifices and contributions that they've made to this country. Hello History and Heritage Explorers. Right now I'm standing at the gravesite of Sergeant Jose Mendoza Lopez. During World War II, he won a Medal of Honor for extreme bravery on the field of battle. So let's learn a little bit more about this man and why he won his Medal of Honor. Jose Mendoza Lopez was born in Mexico on July the 10th, 1910. At the age of eight, Lopez was orphaned, forcing him to make his way to Brownsville, Texas to live with an uncle. He began working various jobs to help out his family. He picked cotton in the nearby Rio Grande Valley and hopped freight cars to travel the country looking for work. One day, while working in Atlanta, Georgia, Lopez got into a street fight. A boxing promoter who had saw the brawl offered to help him become a boxer. The 5 foot 5 inch 130 pound Lopez accepted the offer and began to fight under the name Kid Mendoza. Lopez retired from boxing in 1934, never had been knocked down, and with a record of 52 wins and only 3 losses that came by way of decision. In 1935, Lopez joined the Merchant Marines and for 6 years worked as a deckhand. On December 7, 1941, while at sea, he learned about the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor and the U.S.'s entry into World War II. He soon returned to Brownsville and married his girlfriend, Amelia Herrera. Not long after his marriage, in late 1942, he enlisted into the Army. Lopez was sent first to Fort Sam Houston in Texas and then to Camp Roberts in California to receive his basic training. He volunteered to serve in the Airborne, but wasn't accepted because the Army wanted young, single men to serve in that dangerous unit. Instead, he was assigned to Camp K of the 23rd Infantry Regiment, 2nd Infantry Division. After basic training, Lopez was sent to England to receive military training for a top-secret mission that would change the tide of the war. This was the Allied Forces' invasion of Nazi-controlled Europe. On June 6, 1944, D-Day, the assault on the Normandy beaches in France began. Lopez's regiment landed at Normandy on June the 7th, D-Day plus one. Over the next few months, Lopez and his company fought across France and took their winter positions in Belgium near a village called Krenkelp. On December 16th, German forces launched a surprise attack that almost broke through the Allied lines in what became known as the Battle of the Bulge. Fierce fighting broke out all along the Allied lines in the Ardennes Forest, and the next day, Lopez would make a heroic stand that would result in his receiving the Medal of Honor. Lopez had been temporarily attached to Company K of the 23rd Infantry Regiment to provide additional machine gun support. Seeing an advancing German tank surrounded by ten soldiers, Lopez moved to protect his unit's flank. He fired at the enemy soldiers before the tank had fired upon his position although the shallow hole that Lopez used as his machine gun nest offered no protection from the waist up, he remained there despite the fire from the advancing tank. Before moving to another position and setting up his machine gun in action that usually took two men, Lopez took out another 25 advancing enemy soldiers. Lopez saw another large group of German soldiers attempting to outflank him now to his right and again he moved his machine gun and continued to fire to protect that flank. A shell fired from an enemy tank exploded near Lopez which blew him off of his feet and onto his back, but he immediately reset his machine gun and continued to fire. He held back the German soldiers until his unit had retreated and set it up their next line of defense. 
Lopez made his way back to his unit with his machine gun, no ammunition, but his hands badly burned from the barrel of his gun. Sergeant Lopez's Medal of Honor citation reads as follows. On his own initiative, he carried his heavy machine gun from Company K's right flank to its left in order to protect that flank, which was in danger of being overrun by advancing enemy infantry supported by tanks. Occupying a shallow hole offering no protection above the waist, he cut down a group of ten Germans. Ignoring the enemy fire from the advancing tank, he held his position and cut down twenty-five more infantry attempting to turn his flank. Glancing to his right, he saw a large number of infantry swarming in from the front. Although dazed and shaken from enemy artillery fire, which had crashed to the ground only a few yards away, he realized that his position would soon be outflanked. Again alone, he carried his machine gun to a position to the right rear of the sector. Enemy tanks and infantry were forcing a withdrawal. Blown over backwards by the concussion of enemy fire, he immediately reset his gun and continued his fire. Single-handedly, he held off the German horde until he was satisfied that his company had effected its retirement. Again, he loaded his gun onto his back, and in a hail of small arms fire, he ran to a point where a few of his comrades were attempting to set up another defense against the onrushing enemy. He fired from this position until his ammunition was exhausted. Still carrying his gun, he fell back with his small group to Krenkelt. Sergeant Lopez's gallantry and intrepidity on seemingly suicidal missions in which he killed at least 100 of the enemy were almost solely responsible for allowing Company K's to avoid being enveloped, to withdraw successfully, and to give other forces coming up in support time to build a line in which to repel the enemy drive. After World War II, Lopez remained in the Army and ended up fighting in the Korean War until a supervising officer had learned that the Medal of Honor recipient was in combat. He was then ordered to the rear. Lopez retired as a Master Sergeant in 1973. Sergeant Lopez died on May 16, 2005, at the age of 94. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. History and Heritage Explorers enjoys your support.